Season 21 has brought a bunch of new exotic reworks. We need to test them. We need to know what's actually popping so we can get to the fire builds. I'm going to show exactly how it was before and how it is now. That way we can see all the changes that Bungie has made and we're going to see if they delivered on what they promised. Let's hop right in. Come on, bro. There's no time to waste. Now, first up, we're going to be testing the funny blink exotic Astrocyte verse. Now, what this exotic does is it allows you to blink further and more frequently and weapons also ready more quickly out of the blink. Now Bungie did say they are adding two functionalities to this exotic so let's see what the exotic did before and what it does now. So as you can see guys before the patch when you were actually going for your blinks it wasn't making targets volatile at all and then when you go ahead and use your super and use the super teleport it does drain that super energy. Now Bungie said after the patch these things will both be changed. When you blink it'll cause volatile and when you teleport it won't drain energy. So let's see what happens. Okay, now in season 22 guys as you can see when we go ahead and use our super and use that teleport We are not using any super energy at all Which means we can do this for like 30 seconds or something like that Which is absolutely insane for settings like pvp for the super So i'm really excited to see this and hopefully this helps the super out in that mode now next up we have the blink volatile which does seem to work and guys something really interesting about this is there doesn't seem to be a cooldown like pretty much every single time you blink you are going to go ahead and make enemies volatile now i'm kind of curious if there's a build that could be made out of that because i don't know that just seems sick i, I want to see how that synergizes down the line next up we have doomfang paladin now guys i am so excited for this exotic to be buffed because i use it in one of my favorite builds that gives you 30 second super cooldowns now if this ends up being as good as i think it's gonna be definitely expect an updated version of that build coming out in the next couple days but let's see what they ended up doing now as you can see we have the palindrome out we go for the melee we do get a bunch of super energy but we don't get a void damage increase and the same could be said for us getting these primary kills here as you can see we're not getting that escalating damage buff so in season 22 guys when we get those multi kills as you can see we're getting the void weapon boost and also when we get the shield it does boost us all the way to times four so this is working exactly as intended and i am so excited to update my super spam build using this exotic it is so much better now next up we have eternal warrior this exotic was an absolute beast in season 21 because of all the arc artifact perks it is gaining a substantial buff this season though so let's see how that works out now as you can see guys before when our super ended we did get that times four damage bonus but it only lasted five seconds okay now in season 22 when our super ends we do get 25 seconds seconds of the 25% damage bonus which is actually quite good that is a huge buff okay next up we have geomag stabilizers a fan favorite we do have a buff coming so hopefully this can bring them back in the meta where they belong so geomag stabilizers have always extended the duration of your chaos reach super now as you can see we are not getting any super energy from ionic traces but after the buff bungie did say that that is exactly what's going to happen so let's see how they implemented it oh Okay, now as you can see guys, the buff did go through, but the super gain is nothing substantial. So unfortunately, I do not think that these will be meta when compared with something like Doomfang Paldron. This is just simply no super gain at all. But it is interesting to see them take this step. I, I do think it's a step in the right direction. It just needs a bit of tuning. Right guys, so next up we have Icefall Mantle. Now this is the original on command overshield. Before Void Titan was doing it, Icefall Mantle was. Now it's a shame that this exotic has never truly been that meta. Now, hopefully with this change, we do see it getting a bit more usage. Okay, so as you can see, guys, whenever you popped your barricade, you did get overshield, but you unfortunately cannot sprint in this animation. Now, what Bungie said they're going to do in the next patch is give you increased stasis damage when you cast your overshield. So let's see if that went through. Okay, so guys, what we're looking at for this Icefall Mantle rework is an on-command 25% damage bonus. As you can see, when we pop our barricade, we get the overshield that gives us the times for stasis weapon boost but we can go ahead and cancel the overshield and we retain the damage bonus and then we could just frag out this seems like it could be quite good this is going to be an interesting one now bungie has said they're going to be combining foe tracer and knucklehead radar into one exotic and giving it additional functionality so let's see how that ended up
up going. Now, as you can see, guys, with Foe Tracer, if you went ahead and looked at a target, then lost line of sight, you would get wall hex for a short duration. Now, for Knucklehead Radar, when you aim down sights, you did retain that radar. So, with this buff, we should be seeing both of these perks come together into one exotic, and we'll get a new functionality. So, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, as you can see, they did go ahead and combine those exotic perks. We are now getting the wall hex and the radar while aiming down sights on one exotic knucklehead radar now i did make a mistake i thought they were going to combine foe tracer and knucklehead radar together completely but foe tracer is its own exotic so let's see what that does all right guys now as you can see whenever we go ahead and use our ability on an enemy if we have a weapon of the same damage type we will get a 25 percent damage increase which is quite substantial now next up we have an exotic that has always been pretty good but has been heavily slept on will this buff be enough to make the difference in its usage let's find out now guys as you may or may not be able to tell from the footage it's kind of hard to see if you're not looking for it basically what hallow fire heart has always done is increase solar ability regen and you would gain increased energy if your super was fully charged now after the rework bungie said that it's going to be more focused on creating sunspots they were quite vague with that description so we're going to have to see exactly how they implemented this change okay guys so after this rework basically if you're standing in a sunspot and you get a solar kill of any kind weapons included you create additional sunspots the one issue with this rework is it seems that the weapon sunspots don't last that long so i would like it because it lets you not just spam your abilities you could play a little safer but those sunspots need to last longer now next up we have the forgotten arc hunter exotic lucky raspberry let's see if these changes can make it any better All right guys so as you can see with this exotic if you would throw it at a group of enemies depending on how many were actually hit by the grenade you would fully get your charge back now the one downside to this exotic is if you use it on a single enemy you wouldn't get any grenade energy back at all so hopefully with this change they can make it a bit more consistent now as you can see guys when we kill two enemies with it we get about 40 percent of our grenade back so it seems like they wanted it to be more consistent rather than just giving you instant free grenades sometimes seems like we're going to get grenade energy anytime we do any type of damage with our grenades which is pretty good you know i'd re much rather have that consistency now next up we have path of burning stabs now this is an interesting exotic that does give that damage bonus it also makes you harder to slow or freeze which is cool but let's see what they actually went ahead and changed now as you can see you guys with path of burning steps if you went ahead and got multi kills with your solar weapons you would get a stacking damage bonus now after the buff they say that when you throw your grenade you're gonna get the full damage buff all at once which will be absolutely fantastic for the consistency of this build so let's just make sure that actually went through Okay guys, this next one's very simple. It is working as intended. As you can see, we got the grenade kill and now we have the times four solar weapon boost. Nothing dramatically different about it, but it is nice to be able to instantly proc that 25% damage bonus. Next up, we have the legend Renewal Grasps. Guys, if this buff went through, we are gonna be in a Stasis Hunter meta. All right, and for Renewal Grasp, Spongey did say that they were going to bring the cooldown back to what it used to be. If you guys don't know, this got nerfed a long time ago, essentially doubling the cooldown. Okay, now as you can see, guys, these grenades are coming back much, much faster. I mean, I just threw it down and I already have my grenade half charged. So this buff definitely went through and I'm very excited for renewals this season. Okay, guys, next up we have Wings of Sacred Dawn. Now, this has always been a meme exotic. This exotic is in dire need of some buffs, so let's see if these changes have made any difference in its overall viability now for wings of sacred dawn bungie did say that they were going to make it so your solar weapons reload midair so that you don't have to fall out of the air ever okay we're going for the float we are using our gun now pay attention to our ammo reserves here guys it is reloading every single kill it seems like we get brought back up to our full ammunition which is absolutely insane but it is still wings of sacred dawn and this buff is nothing substantial so they're going to need to do more if they want us to use this exotic now winter's guile is the melee exotic for warlock it essentially just gives you higher melee damage when you get melee kills it does stack up to five times now the rework that bungie has announced doesn't really seem like it's going to be enough 
but let's make sure that that at least did go through. Right guys, now as you can see, when you use your Penumbral Blast on Stasis Warlock, it just freezes the target. Now after the buff, they said that it's going to automatically shatter targets, which again doesn't sound like too much, but let's see if it does some crazy damage. Okay, so this change did go through as you can see, but guys, I was really hoping for some more substantial damage here. The only thing to actually note is that it does freeze, shatter, and then it freezes again, which is interesting, I guess, but, you know, if they really want us to use Winter's Guile with Stasis, they're gonna need to do more damage. That's not enough damage, bro. All right, guys, I did save the worst for last. We have Feedback Fence up next. Let's see if Bungie has done anything to make this useless exotic somewhat viable. Right guys, now as you can see, when I punch things, I build up a charge that gets released when I get meleeed myself. Now Bungie said they're gonna tie this into the armor charge system, and I'm hoping that at max armor charges, the damage does go up to something that's viable. Let's see what they ended up doing. Alright guys, so the damage is not that amazing, but what's important to note here is we are getting armor charge just for punching things. This is armor charge on command we don't even need a kill to get the armor charge we just need to punch something and we will get that so you know maybe there could be some surge builds with this it's kind of interesting all right guys now i would like to know down below what you think about these changes were you surprised were you disappointed do you have any ideas for fire builds if you do i mean i want to hear everything but i really want to hear those build recommendations because we're always looking for something to showcase on the channel brand new season there's got to be at least 15 builds i already have five but if you guys could hit me with some more i will shout you out in the video by the way be sure to subscribe right now we're going to be posting a ton of content because it's the new season there's a lot of content what do you expect appreciate y'all watching either way see you for the next video peace